they came ready to play. How you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm feeling great today. Listen, Jenny McCarthy is engaged and the ring is ridiculous. Um, Tori Spelling is speaking out for the first time about that cheating scandal. And Tay Diggs has moved on to a new woman. Let's talk about it anymore. It's time for Hot Topics. Yesterday's snow in the tri-state area here. Welcome to spring again. <laughs> All right, so big announcement yesterday on The View. Jenny McCarthy is engaged. Yeah. I know. I feel the same way. She and Donnie Wahlberg have only been dating for nine months, but guess what? When you become a certain age, when you have a few of life's experiences under your belt, I see nothing wrong with dating for nine months, knowing this is the one, and putting a ring on it. Um, yeah. You know, Jenny was married um, a, a long time ago, and she has a son who's, I think, 10 or 11 years old now. Um, she was in a long-term relationship with Jim Carrey, but that's been over for years. Yeah, there's Evan. Uh, she was in that relationship with Jim Carrey, but that's been over for years. In between, she dated that Hurt Locker from the Bears. Is that Brian Hurt Locker? Her Locker? Her Locker. Thank you, my crew back there. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, right, she dated him, that was just for a moment though. And she and Donnie Wahlberg met while they were interviewing on a radio show back in July of last year. And I know, and then they started dating. And remember there was a little hiccup that we talked about maybe two months ago or three months ago where um, Jenny uh, still speaks to her ex-boyfriend of five years, Jim Carrey on the phone. Um, I know, I said the same thing to her. <laughs> Stop it, Jenny, you're gonna block this new relationship. And you know, Jenny um, already said you know, many times that her son Evan is very close to, or was very close to Jim Carrey and maybe that's why Jim felt and Jenny felt that they had to talk to each other. But I always say that you know, when you keep up those kinds of relationships with people, you block the blessing. So apparently Donnie was upset by this Jim Carrey, Jenny communication. And I guess she learned her lesson cut that off, and now she's got this gorgeous, show the ring, gorgeous, huge. Gorgeous, and I think that they're great for each other. You know, he's a working actor, he comes from a stable family in Boston, he seems like, well, he's not the comedian, so clearly he'd be the straight man in the marriage and he'd ground her. Jenny, you know, is our kooky, wild, fun-loving girl, but you can't have two kooks in the house. So I, I think that the, these two are great together and hopefully their engagement will be just as short as their dating life, because when you're of a particular age, you don't need to be engaged for a year. You know, you, you quickly make that wedding happen whether you go to the Justice of the Peace, call somebody to the backyard, or, or if, even if you have your friends over. Either way, congratulations to both of you. So sweet. So sweet. Yeah. Stop clapping for Tori Spelling, unless you wanna clap. You know, you're my co-host, you can have your own opinions, but quite frankly, I think that this is probably the most tragic story uh, on, on television right now. Um, this Tori Spelling, you know, airing the dirty laundry of her marriage out on TV. You know, we like dirty laundry here on the show, but even we have our limits. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Tori, <laughs> Tori is speaking out for the first time about her marital dramas. You know, there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of magazine articles. We've been covering it on Hot Topics. They cover it on Inside Edition and TMZ. But now Tori's saying that she has decided to do this, they're calling it a docu-series, okay? Well, we call it sloppy reality TV. <laughs> They're doing this docu-series, she says, so that she can tell her own story her own way. Uh, Tori says that the show um, will be hard for Dean, who allegedly doesn't want to do the show anyway, but Tori, I guess, put the smack down and said, look, if you want this marriage to work, you want to be in this house with me and four kids, then you will go on TV. 
other people are actually whispering that Tori wants to publicly humiliate him, which is only going to boomerang and humiliate her. I mean, you, you know, like if, if your guy is catting around town and allegedly has been doing it for years and has all kinds of issues and things like that, I just, I just feel like there's some things that should be handled in private and I'm kind of shocked at Tori and I don't know whether she's doing this because she's, you know, obsessed with, you know, the limelight and being on TV or whether she needs the money. You know, even though she's a spelling, you can't necessarily, you know, accurately count other people's money. I used to feel sorry for Tori talking about this until, until she, or feel sorry for Tori behind the scenes. And, but now that she's talking, I don't feel sorry for her. I just think that, like you're both gonna come out of this looking foolish and your kids are gonna need countless hours of therapy after this. I mean, even, you know, the oldest one is near 10, eight. All right, she, they've got four kids under 10 years old. The seven year old is the oldest and then here's this little 19 month old. Now you might say, well, the 19 month old won't necessarily be hurt by this because you know he's a little goober and he, he won't remember. But all this stuff will live in cyberspace, the first thing. And then the 19 month old is gonna probably have issues like, God, even the birth of me couldn't keep you guys together. You know, it's just very sad. Um, and yeah, I'm judging. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you're judging too. If you'd like to continue judging, True Tory is the name of the show and it premieres Tuesday night at 10 on Lifetime. <laughs> Messy. So, you know, Kate Gosling's uh, reported hot companion, that, you know, that guy, Steve, with, you know, he's a silver fox. At one point they were saying he's his bodyguard. There he is. Look how he's looking at her. And look how she's looking at us, looking at her. <laughs> you know the new scandal? In Touch Magazine is claiming that Steve and um, Kate, okay, could have been sharing a hotel room. Now we weren't inside the room, so we don't know. However, <laughs> In Touch, one of their reporters called the hotel room to speak to Steve, cause you know, Kate's in New York now filming for Donald's Celebrity Apprentice. So, so In Touch called the hotel room and Kate answered the phone. <gasps> and then, okay, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. If it was one o'clock in the afternoon and this is her, all right, he's moved up in the ranks. He's no longer her bodyguard. He's her advisor, like her chief of you know, advice. So if it's one o'clock in the afternoon, they could be having a meeting. If it's one o'clock in the morning, New York never sleeps, it could still be a meeting. But here's where dopey Kate messed up. Okay, so bring, hello, <laughs> says Kate. Um, hello, you know, can we speak to Steve? Kate goes, excuse me, who is this? And when they said, you know, so-and-so in Touch Magazine, instead of Kate playing it cool, she hung up the phone. <laughs> She, she hung up the phone like dead giveaway. <laughs> so look, listen, they have both denied these, this rumored affair for years now, for years. There's been speculation. You know, he's married, he's got, yes. Oh, here's the family. He, he's married, there's his wife, there's, her, there's his sons. You know, when you become a middle-aged man and you, your stomach is still flat enough to tuck your shirt in, that's a really big achievement. <laughs> Do you know, you know like as middle-aged men go. His wife is standing though like, I will take Kate down, I am not having it. <laughs> She's looking like, what? And the sons just want their dad not to be messing around on mom. So I hope none of this is true, but Kate Gosling has never been, um, such a nice woman, so chances are she doesn't care about anybody else's family. Heck, she barely seems to care about her own. So um, we'll be watching, and since you're in New York, the streets will be watching, and we are doing the talking. <laughs> Kate, by the way, you look spectacular. I mean, I mean, I mean she, you look. Imagine birthing all those kids and still looking like a freshman at Monmouth University. She looks great. <laughs> Let's move along. I don't like the way um, he's looking at her though. And who hires people that good looking to be around them and stay in the same hotel? Kate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we know Tay Diggs. Yeah. 
He was, he was married to Adina Menzel, yes. Um, who's, who's, who's Idina Menzel, who's now more famous than ever since John Travolta messed up her name. That movie, Frozen, has made over five, over a billion, do, over a billion dollars. You know, for people who never knew who she was, now everybody knows who she is. Uh, but these two uh, split after being married for 10 years. Back in December, just in time for Merry Christmas, honey. <laughs> you know, um, I want a divorce. You know, heartless. <laughs> However, um, uh, he's moved on and seems to be getting cozy with a model named Amanda. Now, if you look at Amanda, you see that Tay has a type. And generally speaking, it's not a black woman. <laughs> Never seen him with a sister in my life. <laughs> but to each his own, hey Tay. Okay, so I'm, gla I'm glad you've moved on. According to People Magazine, <laughs> they're reportedly uh, telling friends that they're in love. Well, so that's terrific. And you know who that's terrific for? It's terrific for Idina. Because as soon as people move on to other relationships means that they stop menacing you in your life. Like, yes. <laughs> Now that he's busy, she doesn't have to worry about him being a pain in the behind. And besides, you know what she's saying? Idina, who I don't know if her dating anybody right now, but this career of hers is on fire. And she's saying that the newfound success of her career now is a great distraction. And by the way, she's got a new Broadway show, so she's working more now than ever, and, and Tay has moved on. So this, to me, is an all-around applaud. Yeah. yeah. Applaud, 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 applaud. Lady Gaga uh, may have something to celebrate soon. Well, Lady Gaga. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to tease you. You felt where she said, oh. <laughs> Lady Gaga, according to Life and Style magazine, and her boyfriend of two years, Hot Taylor Kinney, you know, he's on that fire show. Ooh. Chicago Fire. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, Lady Gaga, um, people are saying that he's planning on proposing to her. Ooh. I know. Stephanie might be getting engaged. Ooh. I say might be. Oh. Because, well, we haven't heard it from his mouth. I don't know whether it was the jeweler calling up the magazine. <laughs> You know, they, they gave the uh, sources close to the source say, you know, that he's shopping for the perfect ring for her. He wants something unique that will suit her personality. Oh. Well, what the hell is that gonna be? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 for, first, I don't think you can find a unique enough ring to suit Lady Gaga's personality. Second, I don't... <laughs> I don't picture Lady Gaga wearing a diamond ring, not because, you know, di you know blood diamonds and that whole thing, because we know she doesn't care about the furs. She wears furs long, they drag on the ground like sumptuous furs. But I just think that Lady Gaga is the type of girl in my head who would take no ring at all, or maybe get a tattoo, you know, or maybe a simple silver band that you could barely, like you have to squint to see it. I don't, I don't picture her wanting a wedding set like many of us you know, want. And I also don't picture her in the white wedding dress. No. I mean, the person who's getting married is not Lady Gaga. The person who's getting married is Stephanie Germata. And Stephanie Germata, the New York Catholic girl that she is, we know. Her mother and father, the Germatas, they have a restaurant here in Manhattan. They make the Italian food. And I can picture Gaga going there. It's a small place. Going there, like, to the rooftop with a few family friends and, like, doing it real Catholic and real traditional. And then at the end, um, you know, the priest will say, you may now, instead of kiss the bride, just to add the Gaga touch, you may now throw up on the bride. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Congratulations, Lady Gaga. <laughs> we don't talk about the people from the Jersey Shore very much, but Jay Wow, you know, is pregnant. She's having a baby girl. Yep. Yeah. I think she looks nice as a pregnant lady. I'm happy for her and her boyfriend, uh, Ro Roger is his name, Roger. Um, she recently shared how um, her first pregnancy is going. And she says, she bleeping hates it. 
she says she's not a fan of her new thighs touching together at the top. <laughs> she's talking to most of us, by the way. <laughs> Imagine living your life through like that, uh, young lady. Um, and she hates the big changes in her boobs. Would those be the changes before or after going under the knife? <laughs> No, but you know, um, and then some of my um, staffers here at Wendy, we were talking about this and a lot of people were saying, you know, I think that when women are pregnant, they need to be quiet about complaining. That, you know, being pregnant, go ahead, say it like you mean it. <laughs> say it. You think they need to be quiet and just t receive the blessing. How many, so many people in the audience are wearing our melon color today. We're like twins. <laughs> Yeah. You know what? I figured there'd, more peop there'd be more people than just you, brave soul. You stood by yourself in your own conviction. You're my type of woman. Um, but I thought more of you would say that pregnancy is a blessing and she needs to shut up about complaining, but you only let her clap. But you're nodding also. You think so also? All right, I'm gonna take this poll again. How many people think that pregnant women need to be quiet about complaining and receive the blessing? Uh-huh. Well, then we agree to disagree. And I'm gonna tell you why. I feel like in the sisterhood of being a woman, we lie to each other about a lot of things. And it, it's, it's not right, it's not good. Like I want to, I, if you are having a hard time being pregnant, complain often and complain loud. Because, if, <laughs> because listen, if, if, I, if, if I, if you're talking to me or I'm hearing it and I've never had a baby, then I have something to look forward to. The good, the bad, and the ugly of pregnancy. Quite honestly, I agree with JWoww. Um, and, and these days I find particularly, it's not because of my unfortunate uh, miscarriages and then, then hard won pregnancy, but I swear to you, and I've said this before, I look at pregnancy as not a happy thing. I look at it as a condition to quickly pray your way through and come out on the other side. I'm telling you right now. Uh, listen, I don't know whether it's the hormones in the meats or whether we women aren't meant to work as hard as we do. So therefore, you know, back in the olden days, we were housewives and in, so we laid at home and we had the babies. Nowadays, we're captains of industry and I don't know that we're, I don't know whether we're equipped to handle the stress of the, the pollution, the hormones, yeah. our, our high power jobs and having a baby. So, and you know, like when I'm driving around in the car or at the mall or at the grocery store or even here at Wendy, you know, when, the, when my girls are fortunate enough to be able to put on a cute outfit and come to work or they, you know, people are riding the subway, I say, hey, they are so fortunate. But that, unfortunately, my experience is knowing women who've gone through pregnancies, that's the exception, not the rule anymore. You know, the rule these days seems to be everybody has problems, get, first of all, getting pregnant, then staying pregnant. And, and so, I, JWoww, I applaud you, um, and I disagree with a lot of you. <laughs> but that's, that, that's, yeah. Oh, and by the way, and by the way, she says she's petrified because she is having a daughter and um, you know, the, she, she's scared that the daughter is just going to wreak havoc on her life um, and take after her wild living days. I agree with her on that one too. I was petrified of having a daughter as well because I said, well, first of all, if I'm big, and I'm birthed from regular, a little lady and a regular sized guy, I get my height from uh, my paternal grandmother, you know, but I'm a big woman and my husband's a big man, which means if we had a daughter, she'd be way bigger than me. <laughs> and I don't know whether I would be like my parents dogging her out. You know how I was raised, I've been telling you. My parents didn't know how to handle a big one, so they were really mean to me and I wouldn't wanna be that way. So, you know, when I, when I saw it was a boy, I said, yes, <laughs> yes.